Hey you guys, so if you watched my last video, then you know we just went to Ulta to check out all the new makeup that we could find, and I did end up buying some. So today we're going to do a full face of first impressions using all of this new makeup. So without any further ado, let's get on with the video. You guys look, my headband matches my shirt. <laughs> All right, I brought you guys up a little bit closer. So we're gonna first start with, I like to start with my brows. So we're gonna start with the Urban Decay Brow Blade. Looks like this. Such an interesting concept. Like I've never seen a brow product like this. And I got it in the shade Brunette Betty, which is medium brown. <gasps> oh, she's sleek. Look at that metallic packaging. Let's open it, shall we? So here's the ink stain side. So that's what they're calling the brush tip. Then this side's the brow pencil, you know, just your typical brow pencil. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Let's play with this. Ooh, waterproof pencil. So I can go swimming in the ocean and not worry about my brows coming off. Oh my god, what side should I start with? Okay, let's just start with the front end of my brows and go in with the brush tip or the ink stain as they call it. Wow, this is so interesting. Okay, this is what we got. Now let's go in with the pencil side. Brow filled in, brow not filled in. I definitely feel like the ink paint side kind of makes it easier to fill in the sparse areas. And then the pencil side, it just helps you define your brow. Because we like a defined brow, but not too defined brow as if you just stamped it on your brow. At least that's how I like my brows. So this is what we got. All right, guys, brows are both filled in. And yeah, I feel like my brows have seen definitely better days. <laughs> but let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think? Do you think they actually look good? Do you think they look a little bit fakey? I mean, I definitely like my brows to look more natural. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna have to play with this a lot more to really figure out if I like it or wanna continue to use it. But I don't know. Practice makes perfect, right? So next product we have to try is this Smashbox new cover shop palette, which is called the Crystallized Eye Palette. Oh, you guys, the packaging. And now I can just show you its side. Oh my gosh. Well, you guys actually kind of saw it um, in my vlog portion of my last video. But if you didn't, just in case you missed it, I'm going to open this. Oh my gosh. So I just used Impress Nails for the first time and I'm so scared that they will fall off because I don't know how strong the adhesive is. <gasps> okay, okay. How pretty is this? Like Coachella, what? And then, not only is the outside packaging very pretty. Y'all, look at those shades. And that green, oh, we're playing with that green today. I don't know if it'll match the red top. I can always just switch tops at the end. But, oh my gosh. So pretty. So in this palette, you get eight shadows. And then these two, I'm assuming, are called Mystic Opportunity and Hex Appeal. Because, do you see this little sticker? So this little stick st sticker says, Apply Mystic Opportunity and Hex Appeal with your finger, not brush. For maximum pigment payoff. I love that they put this sticker there because you know a lot of the times we're like guessing like do we need our fingers, do we need MAC Fix Plus, or can we just go in with a brush? And they say no, use your fingers. So okay Smashbox, thank you. So let's go in with this light shade, beige shade, cream shade, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> and just place it all over my eye. Hmm, I don't see much of anything. <laughs> huh? Okay, with this shadow, you gotta layer it up, but it's there. It is there. All right, so now let's go in with the crease shade. Let's go in with this shimmery shade. I'm kind of scared because it is shimmery. I would prefer definitely a brown crease shade. I don't know. We'll, we'll just play with it. We're experimenting. Oh 
I honestly don't see anything. <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with this gray shade and put it in my crease. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get something. Oh yeah, I definitely see something. So there's a little bit of fallout, but nothing too extreme. Like, love on Associate Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes, but there's a lot of fallout with them. So yeah, compared to those palettes, not a lot of fallout. So I'm thinking before I go in with this green shade, this one, I'm going to actually swatch both of these shimmery shades or Mystic Opportunity and Hex Appeal. And let's just see how do they swatch. Why you? So here are the finger swatches. Wow. That is so pretty. And now let's just... Wow. That's pretty. Yeah, I still think I'm going to go in with the green one. So let's do that. Y'all, I'm a dummy. They have names of all of these shadows on the back. Oops. Okay, so it looks like the green one is called Mystic Opportunity. Wow, that's really pretty. I've never, okay, knock on wood, because I don't know if I have, for real, for real, but I don't remember ever wearing an olive green color. Okay. I do wish there was a brown in this palette. Like, why is the only matte shade a gray and this dark red, almost burgundy shade? Why? To add a little more dimension, I think I'm going to go in with this dark brown, but there's looks like there's a little bit of shimmer in this one. And just put it in my outer V. Here's the finished eye look that I created with the Smashbox Cover Shot Crystallized Eye Palette. Y'all, if I'm being honest, I can't say I'm really impressed. I don't know if it's because the lack of matte shades, crease shades, it's not really pigmented. Like, it looks really pretty, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the packaging is bomb, y'all. Don't get me wrong. The packaging, like, what? I feel like the camera is just getting, like, closer and closer to my face. But I just want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. So, yeah. Okay, so next we're going to go in with the Maybelline Snapscara Mascara, which is their new mascara. I've heard really good things about it, but y'all know I'm a very harsh critic when it comes to mascara. I love my mascaras, so... Hmm, the claims for this is smooth, clump free, and adds volume. We shall see. You guys, with these nails, it's kind of a challenge to open anything. If you guys have any tips with impressed nails, please tell me. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so this is the packaging. This is very interesting, very different. Let's first look at the wand, shaped like a cone. Here's one eye with the mascara and one eye without. I definitely feel like it did a good job in lifting the lashes, which, you know, sometimes, especially because this mascara is not waterproof, sometimes your lashes just go straight out. But no, this actually lifts the lashes. Because of the cone-shaped wand, it definitely grabs all of your lashes. Like, it allows you to get in um, even your inner corner, which is sometimes a struggle when the brush is like really big. So I like that. Okay, so now I have the mascara applied on both of my lashes. I mean, it definitely added some volume. I wouldn't say it grabbed every single lash, but again, it did allow me to go in my inner corners, which I can appreciate because of the cone-shaped wand. I'll just have to see um, after I complete my whole face if my lashes continue to stay lifted or if they end up going down. So now time for the concealer from L'Oreal. This is an infallible full wear, more than concealer. So let's open it together. Oh, I got it in the shade Pecan 380. And let's just hope this is my shade. Oh, wow. I'm getting shape tape vibes with this applicator. Mm, they all look a little light. Looks a little light. 
Mm. So here's the concealer on this side of the face and without the concealer. Maybe it's not as light as I thought it was. Maybe I was just kind of freaking out and overreacting, but I don't know, y'all. In the mirror, it looks a little light. So I apply the concealer with a brush on this side. This side, I'm gonna apply it with a sponge and see if it makes any difference. But a little goes a long way with this, let me tell you. So I'm taking my Real technique sponge. Y'all, I forgot how good sponges were. So much easier. Wow, you guys, <laughs> that took no time whatsoever. That was so quick and easy. Wow. Now I can kind of tell the coverage difference. Definitely, you know, sponges, and we all know this, kind of soak up the product. And yeah, you can definitely see my bags on this side. And then with the brush, it didn't soak as much of the product. So it looks like a fuller coverage on this side. I think it is safe to say though, I got the <laughs> so I just realized I did not get a new powder. I mean, I did get a new powder, but from Raw Greens, not from Ulta. So I'm gonna take this Photo Ready Candid Anti-Pollution Setting Powder from Revlon. And just apply this on my under eyes. And you guys, I've been loving this powder. It is very finely milled. It doesn't have any flashback. It's just so nice. So one thing I am noticing with this concealer is I have creases. So before we move on to the next product, I am gonna add mascara on my bottom lashes. A few moments later. I kind of feel like this mascara adds more length than volume to your lashes. Let me know if you guys have tried the Snapscara and also experienced the same thing because yeah, I'm seeing more length than volume. Now let's move on to the product that I gotta say I'm most excited to try. The BFF collection from Becca, the Chloe and Malika. <laughs> Bronze blush and glow palette. <laughs> oh my gosh, some of you guys corrected me. I'm so sorry. I just, I don't know why, but I had Michaela in my head. So I think I was like combining the two names together. So, whoops. Wow, you guys, this is so pretty. And yes, it does have the names on the back of each shade. <gasps> mm, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I got high hopes for this product. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. And this product may save my look. Oh, such a big mirror too. Bless. So we first have Yes Girl, Dusted, Bestie Bronze, and it make me blush. Oh my gosh. So I'm thinking we'll go in with the Bestie Bronze. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Mm, save my look, please. Save my look. Wow. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I think we have a winner. So far with the bronzer, with the Bestie Bronzer, I am very impressed. Yes! And for some reason, I don't know if this mirror is magic, but my eye look doesn't look as bad. Maybe the shadows aren't that bad. And I was being too harsh of a critic. Hmm. So, I know this is ill-advised, <laughs> but again, makeup has no rules. But at the same time, I don't know if you want to combine cream and powder, especially when you already played with powder. But we're going to take the Sugar Rush Tarte Beach Cheeks Cream Blush, and this is in the shade Ocean Girl. And we're going to apply this on the cheeks. So, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have already been, well, I actually didn't play with this yet, but I've been using this as my mirror. And look, how cute is this? It's a shell. Oh my gosh, so cute, so cute. This is what it looks like on the inside. Make me rosy. Hmm. You guys, it's kind of faint. Like, I definitely look a lot glossier. I'm confused. Maybe this product is meant to be used alone. Oops. Well, luckily, you guys, in this BFF palette, we do have two blush shades to pick from, so I'm going to do that instead. And hopefully, this won't move everything around. Oh, yeah. See, now that is pigment. Ooh, it's got a little glow, too. 
Wow. Look alive, people. <laughs> no, just kidding. Yeah, wow, that's really pretty. That is really pretty. Okay. This palette has definitely not. And let's actually go in with this highlighter shade, which is called Dusted. Let's add some glow, or more glow, should I say. Wow, do you guys see that? Oh, that is pretty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Guys, last but certainly not least, we have our two lip products from Maybelline and L'Oreal. This is from the Maybelline and Puma collection. And this is from the L'Oreal, I think, Rouge collection. So the Maybelline is in the shade Superstay Matte Ink 11, Fearless. Ooh, she is fearless. <laughs> and then the L'Oreal one is, oh, there is a name for this. It's I Rule. Oh, wow. <laughs> in the number 414. So let's actually apply both of them separately. So I want to first start off with the L'Oreal one. Before I play this on, oh wow, oh wow, look at this wand, very bright though, what's that about? Do you guys see that? Kind of watery. Mm, what is up with this formula? This is definitely brighter than what I expected, can you guys see that? Yeah, it's more like a true pink and not a pinky nude. Hmm. Now let's apply the Maybelline one. And maybe this is a better match. Wow, same wand as the L'Oreal one. Interesting. This definitely looks more like a nude shade. Or mauve -y. I'm down for a mauve -y. So far, I like what I see. So I definitely like the shade, but I don't know if it complements the eyes. <laughs> and I'm noticing the blush is a little too pinky. It's pretty though. It is pretty. It's a pretty formula, but yeah, I don't know if the, the whole face goes together. <laughs> Alright, well here's the final look. So I do actually kind of like the eyes. I know when I first used the palette, the crystallized cover shot palette, I was like, oh my gosh, what happened? I'm kind of starting to like it. And the brows, not that bad. I definitely will have to play a lot more with that. Don't get me wrong. I am not a pro by any means. But, you know, practice makes perfect, right? And the blush, you guys, I really, really like this Becca, Chloe, and Malaika bronze blush and glow palette. Really, really like this. Now, mm, I don't know if I'm going to try again. The L'Oreal Infallible Concealer, it just creased a whole bunch. And it's obviously not my shade as well. These lip formulas also, I mean, the lip shades, like, this isn't bad. But I feel like with this eye look, you want more of a nudie lip, <laughs> not a mauve lip. And the um, wand was kind of funny. Now, the wand, I really liked for this one. But, you guys, the color... It looks like a pinky nude, right? No, it is like a pink. <laughs> it is a pink, so yeah. Oh, and also the formula. It was very watery, which I found very weird. Like, it's very lightweight. Oh, and that's one thing about this one, the Maybelline. Kind of sticky. And I'm sure that could get bothersome as the day goes on. Also, the Sugar Rush Tarte Beach Cheeks. What happened? Where was the pigment? I don't know if it's because I already had product applied on my face and maybe this is meant to be used on like a no makeup makeup kind of day. I don't know y'all. I don't know what happened. Now this mascara, I can't say I didn't like it and I can't say I did like it. It's like kind of right in between. I'm kind of impressed because it is it's not waterproof. I definitely have experienced better mascara but I'll still play with that, so we'll see, we'll see. So yeah, those are my thoughts on all the products, my full face of first impressions, because, you know, obviously I gotta play with these products a lot more to really figure out if I like the product or not. All right, you guys, well, that concludes the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed my full face of first impressions using all of this new makeup from Ulta. And if you guys wanna see more of this face, don't forget to press the subscribe button down below. It's red, join the family, become a bestie, and turn on that notification bell on so you get notified every time I 
upload a new video. Oh my gosh, I'm messing up. <laughs> Alright guys, I love you guys so much and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!